Good evening. My name is Alexander Hagen. I'm the CEO of a medium-sized small tech company in Silicon Valley. Previously, I was a financial analyst and financial journalist. Today, I want to speak to you about education in a sort of investigative journalism series that I've been doing. Uh, this is about looking at U.S. education, comparing it to other countries, and seeing how we're doing. And I've entitled this piece, It's Not Very Good, U.S. Education. It's not very good, but it is expensive. So um, let's start with some non-threatening information and uh, non-bad news, uh, just some simple facts. This is a deployment of people into our K-12 uh, system, and I believe this is all public. I did merge in private later, and what you're seeing is that with teachers are almost exactly half of all the people who work for schools and then there's this slice here for teachers aides so when you add that 62 percent of all people are teachers or teachers aides okay um, now here is expenditures and uh, uh, for public and secondary school and you see here it claims that 65.8 percent is instructional and instruction related uh, this is a breakdown of how money comes into education. Local, 44%. State, 48%. Federal, 8%. Um, let's see here now. Uh, then here is the K-12 spending uh, per country uh, in the o o OECD. Now, let's see here. Here we have actual expenditures on teachers' salaries compared to all other expenditures in K-12. And here you'll see the first concern, which is 38%. I think to achieve academic excellence efficiently, it should be reversed. Imagine if we doubled all the teachers' salaries, but had them uh, take care of some of the, uh, such as uh, uh, renting effectively their classroom, um, um, so they could take responsibility for their own cost structures uh, in some small way where they could make more money. Um, just as an example. So uh, now the next thing I wanted to show you, uh, okay, so these are the PISA scores in detail of all the countries. These are uh, the uh, scores for scholastic achievement in high school. Um, and these are the scores for pretty much every country um, that they've done this sort of uh, measurement on. Let's see if I can get you an exact number of countries here. Uh, let's see. Dagnabbit. 66 countries are reflected here. And then here we have uh, education spending. Where do I have my education spending? Uh, let's see here. Here we go. Here's our country's expenditure per pupil, which we saw in the other um, uh, document as well. And you see we're the second highest in expenditure per pupil. Um, and uh, then when we look at our results, which is a PISA test, what I did, well, I'll just show you. Uh, let's see here. I believe that this query, education return investment, so here we have a total of uh, overall reading, math, and science per country, sorted from the highest score down. So now let's move these together a bit. Okay. So we can see and make that smaller too. So what we see here in terms of outcomes, Finland has uh, is 64,000 per pupil, Korea 52, Japan 69, New Zealand 52, um, then Switzerland, they at least come in roughly seventh or so, um, and they have the highest expenditure along with the U.S. per pupil. Uh, Germany, considering their outcome, has got a very good efficiency. Um, Poland is by far the best at $31,000 for the outcome, but there is a big drop in outcome. We're talking about a 10%, roughly 10% lower achievement. 
So for the people in the very highest achievement levels, I'd say 1570 above, uh, we're, we're seeing uh, Korea and New Zealand with 52,000 and then Finland and Japan 65 to 69,000. Then the U.S. comes down here in terms of our educational outcome. UK, Denmark, France, but look at the French expen uh, Ireland and France's expenditures, much, 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 much lower. So in terms of the major industrialized countries, because those are the only ones that are going to get the top scores anyway, and uh, I've only got records for 28 of these countries for expenditure per pupil, but in this group, the U.S. is at 17 out of 28, so we're in the bottom half uh, of achievement, but we're in the top rung of expenditure. Uh, so the other information we have for you and this is in terms of GDP. Um, U.S. expense 5.7 of GDP. And look at, uh, uh, so in terms of GDP, the ones, I don't think, uh, uh, Poland expends a fair amount. I guess Japan would have the best return on GDP, oddly enough. And Germany as well, perhaps. And South Korea. So, um, Let's see here now. So here was um, some other things I looked at. So when you look at this um, total expenditures on K-12, 201 billion for instructor salaries, that is 10% uh, as much as the war, the military and correctional uh, and uh, t anti-terror uh, systems. And I think I showed you the rest of this. Uh, let's see if there's anything else that you need to see. Um, let me just briefly flip through this. Well, I think that's as far as I've gotten so far. Um, the main point is that, <clears throat> first of all, we're paying a lot more than other people to get the same product. And why is that? Um, and the, probably the one to study the most scrutiny is France. France has a much more heterogeneous population now than it used to because of emigration. So why are their scores? We go back to here and look. Uh, where's France? They're in our rung of achievement, but their costs are substantially less. Or Ireland. Uh, or do, uh, how is Germany, at half the price roughly, able to outscore us by so much? Uh, they're at least between the, uh, let's say, the lower ranks of the industrialized country would be at 1460, and the highest ranks would be at 1631. So I did do the same thing as a total above baseline. And um, so, poll, uh, so this is a ratio of bang per buck here in particular. And here the U.S. is at the very bottom in terms of bang per buck. So uh, then also I consider a problem that only 38% of educational expenditures are spent directly on the teacher right here. And then of course I'm very concerned about in terms of our national priorities, if we look here, when I say concern I mean as an analyst, I'm trying not to uh, inject my opinion particularly. So uh, let's see if I have um, what I'm hoping, yes, here we go. So, uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. Sorry for the... Uh, so, if you look here at our spending, um, you'll see that K-12 is 12%, and this is the entire pie of the whole U.S. at every level. And... Um, so in terms of public sector expenditure, that's our priority. Um, but the question is still one begs to ask is why is our cost structure 50% higher? That's as far as I've gotten. Thank you, good night, and good luck.